hello guys welcome to how to fix tag in this video guys we are going to make a bootable pen drive of windows 10 so how to make a latest windows 10 bootable pen drive so let's start without wasting your time open any browser which you use i basically use generally use windows google browser and in the search bar you need to type here windows 10 iso windows 10 iso download and hit enter go to official website of microsoft just click on that and you will redirect to this page now in here guys we need to create the windows 10 installation media so we have to select this option now download tool now ok this is a media creation tool to help us to make the ISO of Windows 10 and we need to run this software from here just click on it and click on yes button when the prompt opens guys and 8 GB should be free on your system make sure your C drive is almost 8 GB free and you need to have the 8 GB pen drive as well so it has started running now so we need to have the Rufus software in order to make the bootable pen drive Rufus download just and go to first link of official website of Rufus and in here guys just scroll little bit down and click on this the latest version standard one 4.4 and click on download link close this advertisement now this is almost a small file just to need to run it okay so we will run it later once we, we will made it the ISO file so let me pause the video for some time guys and then I will resume the video once it applies some changes now you have to select accept now in here guys we need to select second option create installation media since we are going to make a bootable pen drive click on next and now select this option as it is ok click on next and you can directly make a bootable pen drive from this option but this is not recommended I mean this will not help in a better way in the future so ISO will be better option for you this is a multi edition ISO you can download any version and this will install the current version which you are using let's say you are using windows 10 home edition in your laptop so this will be pick this ok and if you are using pro this option will automatically pick the pro option so we need to select here ISO file then click on next and select the option guys I mean the location where you want to save it so let me save it on here just to show you click on save location we have selected that into desktop now this will again take some time guys ok this is going to take some time also you can see downloading is now 2% and now after that it will increase to the more now in here guys it, this will also go to the hundred percent you just need to do don't need to do anything here just wait and make sure you are connected with a good internet connection this will take now it's been completed now click on finish option here and this will also take a few seconds here depending on the now it's done now now we have successfully made the windows 10 iso file you can see here so it's time to make the bootable pen drive so we have already downloaded the Rufus here yeah, you can see here the guys you just need to double click on this exe setup and once you double click on click on yes option and insert your pen drive now since I have already inserted the pen drive this is the pen drive I have so you need to do the same make sure you insert the pen drive here 
and now this window will come up just you need to select here this ISO image here and go to desktop and this is the ISO file we have downloaded click on open now once you have opened that you can leave it as default UEFI partition everything and you can also choose this NTFS this is the latest one so I recommend you to choose NTFS if new window you are using I mean the new system ok click on start and all the data will be erased from the pen drive this is usual things you know that ok click on ok and all the data will be lost yes so also it is going to take some time guys again it will go to here and then it will be completed so let me pause the video once it's completed